educated, not educated. Why wasn't I taught this in school? I want to know why I was not taught this in school. Why was I taught about Robert E. Lee and the Confederate Army as if they were some sort of heroes and they were traitors? Why wasn't I taught about Reconstruction? Why didn't I learn about the Black Codes? Why wasn't I taught about sharecropping and how the 13th Amendment, the only thing it did was actually legalize slavery? Why wasn't I taught about how when the, the Civil Rights Act was passed, they decided, well, okay, we can't legally say we hate black people. Let's target these laws against black people. Let's change it to law and order. Let's, and then let's, let's over-criminalize black people. Let's mass, mass incarceration began at the end of fucking slavery. And that, like, it, oh my God. And now they want to whitewash our education system even more. I beg of pe white people, get the new Jim Crow and read it. Educate yourself because we have been lied to. We have been indoctrinated, not educated. Shalom. Call Laimla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, Truth Shall Spring Forth Out of the Earth. So the inhabitants of the world are waking up to all the deception that has been pushed here in America. This nation was built on robbery, theft, deceit, mischief. That's why we're seeing the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, begin to move on the earth. That's why the Bible says, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So this is the Most High moving to make things right, bringing judgment. Weighing the scales in the balance. Everything we do in this life comes with a price. Let's go here first. We're going to go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Nothing in this world is free. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Let's read verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let, us, let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So what they did, they just relabeled re slavery repackaged it and relabeled it. We were not indentured servants. Once slavery was so-called abolished, it was just recategorized where many Israelites were working for free virtually because they were being charged to work the same land that they were helping to generate revenue on. So these large plantation owners became filthy rich. And eventually, these, pla these plantations would blossom into major banks and building the current stock market and eventually the global stock exchange because people became commodities. So these black codes and Jim Crow laws created black walls and black ceilings in which those of a certain nationality could not surpass and instituting the income tax law 
and the gradual income tax, keeping people in poverty-stricken brackets, making codes to arrest Israelites, so-called Native Americans, Latinos, and Negroes. So these black codes would cause Israelites to be arrested for minor offenses. And under the 13th Amendment, it, it was a loophole created to legalize slavery. So these corporations were able to continue to build and generate wealth. Let's read this again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that is for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Let's go from there. Let's go to Psalms 85, verse 11. Truth shall spring forth out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. So the Most High is moving his spirit on the earth, causing people to be angry. Tensions are rising. Egyptians are being raised up against Egyptians, neighbor against neighbor. So the Most High is causing the earth to heal by his word, the breath of this wisdom that's going forth. Let's look up that word, earth. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H776. Eretz. Eretz. Earth inhabitants. There's a reason there are uproars of the people around the world. Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Amsterdam, Italy, Spain, France, America. So this truth is causing ripple effects because it cracks at the weak foundation that it was built upon. Deception, Renaissance, Renaissance art, lies, whitewashing history. So now this critical race theory is being promulgated. And really it's too late, too little. Critical race theory is intended to be an amendment to all of the deception that has been pushed as truth. Let's keep going. Let's go to 2 Ezra 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Why? Because the word is going out. Bible prophecy. The Israelites are the chosen people, the rightful heirs to the thrones of rulership throughout the earth. So until that happens, and until the Edomites' kingdom is destroyed, righteousness is on standby. So Yahweh Shai is personally going to take down the kingdom of Edom. So that is when the full-fledged truth is going to manifest itself on the earth. Yahweh Shai, an embodiment of truth. Remember, the word made flesh. Let's close out here. Sirach 
41, verse 5. A book of Sirach, chapter 41, verse 5. The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. The inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Reproach and posterity. The descendants of the slave owners, slave masters, and those that benefited of white supremacy are being reproached, shamed, ridiculed. Verse 6, the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. So those that are the rightful chosen people are finding out that all the wealth, resources, real estate, land was made for our sakes. So now you have a illegitimate governmental structure in place. And when you have an illegitimate governmental structure in place, it causes cracks, fissures in the structure, loopholes, vulnerabilities, because society, you don't have the buy-in from the society. Without buy-in, then you're not able to prosper. People rise up against you. You are illegitimate. Verse 7, the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. Did not she mention General Robert E. Lee? These are the forefathers of Edomites. General Robert E. Lee, just to name a few. Albert Pike, Theodore Roosevelt, the so-called founding fathers of America. They were all Luciferians, high-level Masons. Let's read this again. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sakes. So shame is coming forth. Reproach. Let's look up that word, reproach. And then we'll close out. Reproach. To address someone in such a way as to express disapproval or disappointment. Rebuke. An expression of sharp disapproval or criticism. Rebuke. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, or Kak Kadash, or Rakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Palm Yasharala, and Abad Baba. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. I was not taught this in school. I want to know why I was not taught this in school. Why was I taught about Robert E. Lee and the Confederate Army as if they were some sort of heroes and they were traitors? Why wasn't I taught about Reconstruction? Why didn't I learn about the Black Codes? Why wasn't I taught about sharecropping and how the 13th Amendment, the only thing it did was actually legalize slavery? Why wasn't I taught about how when the, the Civil Rights Act was passed, they decided, well, okay, we can't legally say we hate black people. Let's target these laws against black people. Let's change it to law and order. Let's, and then let's, let's over-criminalize black people. Let's mass, mass incarceration began at the end of fucking slavery. And that, like, it, oh my God.
And now they want to whitewash our education system even more. I beg of pe white people, get the new Jim Crow and read it. Educate yourself because we have been lied to. We have been indoctrinated, not educated.